Ya, saya saya nari. Okay, well. okay. I don't know how the formula come. Okay, wait, let me see. Okay. Oh, this is a fixed formula. Okay, so let me let me share my screen with you. Huh? Yes. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, so basically, uh, what you are want is the distance formula. That means, okay, given a x y coordinate. Okay, given x y coordinate. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, given any two points, so let's say I take this point and this point. So this point here is uh, x1 and y1, correct? This point yeah. here is yeah. x2 and y2, okay? So if I want to find the uh -huh. distance between any two points, okay? So imagine, uh, uh -huh. uh, basically simply put, this is actually a Pythagoras theorem, okay? Why? Because if uh -huh. I look at it, this is actually a right angle triangle, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. if this is a right angle triangle, now what is the x value over here? This x value over here is actually over. x2, correct? Yeah. Correct. That means the distance, so this x value over here is x1, correct? Yeah. Similarly, over here, the y value here is y1. The y value over here is y2. Y2, correct? So this distance here is what? Yeah x2 minus x1, correct? Yes. Yeah. This distance here is what? y2 minus uh, y2 y1, y1, correct? Yeah. Correct? And what does uh, Pythagoras theorem tell us? Uh, C e square plus b square. Oh, e square no. plus b square square root, correct? Uh-huh. Right, that is Pythagoras theorem, correct? Yeah. So the same thing applies here. That means the distance here from this point A, if I call this A and I call this B, the distance here from A to B is actually this x2 minus x1 square, which is your A, correct? Uh -huh. yeah. Plus y2 minus y1 square, which is your this B over here, correct? Yeah. And this whole thing? So basically... Pythagoras theorem to solve. Correct. Only thing is, uh, okay, so yeah. in, in a coordinate system, uh, they don't explicitly give you A and B. They give you the coordinate over here and they give you the coordinate over here. Correct? Yeah. Yeah, they never explicitly say what is A and B. But A and B, in essence, is actually the, the distance of the right angle triangle that you form between these two points here. Okay, I see. Okay. Mm. You can. You can. So can I ask you another question? Yeah, sure. Okay, I will send you. Okay. So the question 11. Question. Okay, so let me... Uh, so this is question 11. So let me quickly write down the question. The vertices of triangle PQR are such that P is 1 and 3. Q is uh, 5 and 4, and R is 5 and 15, correct? Okay? Yeah. And they say find the length of the perpendicular from Q to PR. Okay, so let's see how to do this. 
so let me just um, draw the axis first so this is x this is y okay so let's label the points so p is 1 and 3 so this is 1 so maybe this is 3 okay so this is p okay uh, q yeah. is 5 and 4 so this is 5 2 3 4 five. so somewhere around here 5 and 4 so this is okay. so this is your q correct and mm -hmm. r is 5 yeah. and 15 so r is 5 that means it's uh, around here somewhere correct that means it's much higher up here correct so R is going to be here, 5 and 15, correct? Because for Q and R, yep. uh, the X value is the same, correct? Uh -huh, uh -huh. So Q is here, R is just above Q, but it's much higher, correct? Yeah. Okay, so now let's uh, draw the triangle first. So the triangle looks like this. Okay, it looks something like this, correct? And they're asking yeah. to find the length of the perpendicular from Q to PR. That means they're asking you to find, well, they're asking you to find this length here. So they're asking to find the perimeter. Huh? No, no, no. They're asking to find the length of the perpendicular. That means if I were to draw a perpendicular line from Q to PR, this is PR, correct? Uh -huh. This side is PR, and I want to find the length of the perpendicular from Q to to PR okay so that is what I supposed to find okay oh okay 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 so how do I go about doing this hmm? how do I go about doing this okay so in order to do this there is a, a two-step process okay so what do we know about area of triangle half times length times b correct so we know the area of triangle is half base height correct yeah okay but the important thing of this is what the height must be the perpendicular height correct yeah okay now if i look at this triangle here this triangle here if i take rq as the base Okay, if I take RQ as the base here, then what is the perpendicular uh -huh. height? I can say the perpendicular height is actually, I can extend this and I can say this is the perpendicular height, correct? Yeah. Okay, so the height will be what? And the height will be equals to this distance, which is 1 to 5. 5 minus is? 1, 4. 4, correct? And what is the base? Four. Base is the difference between R and Q, the correct? Base. Yeah. Which is 15 uh, minus 4. Which is 11, correct? Yeah. Okay, so from this, uh -huh. I can find my area, correct? Which is half uh -huh, uh -huh. times 4 times 11, which is 11 times 2 will be 22, correct? 22, yeah. Okay, so now I know that this is the area. Now I can apply this same approach. But now I say that I want to find the area based on half base height. But in this case, the base is what? Base is PR multiplied by this H. The H is the unknown. The H is what you want to find, correct? H is the perpendicular length from the Q to PR, correct? Can yeah. See? So H is what you want to find out, correct? Yeah. Now, area you just found out. So, you know the answer for the area, which is 22, correct? 22, yeah. So, what is PR? PR, PR is the length, uh, yeah. correct? Yeah, 1 minus 5. No, not 1 minus 5. You can only do directly if it is on the same X value or same Y value, correct? But this uh -huh, is uh -huh. a different XY, this is a different XY. So, I need to do what? I need to do what I did just now, okay. the distance formula. Uh -huh. Okay, so I need to apply the distance formula to find the length between P and R. Uh, okay. 
uh, for RQ, we directly say it's 15 minus 4 because the X value is the same, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, for this, we directly say it's 5 minus 1 because the Y value is the same. Can you see? Mm -hmm. But when the X, Y yeah. values are different between two points, then you have to use the distance formula. So the PR, the value of PR, will be equals to 5 minus 1, Okay, which is this and this, correct? Square mm -hmm. plus 15 minus 3. Square, whole thing, square root. Can you see? <laughs> Can you see why, how I get the formula? Yes. So this is 4 square plus 12 square. 2 square. Oh, 12, okay. Correct. So what's, yeah. the, what's the final answer for PR? Can you can you calculate? Tell me. Okay. Four square plus twelve square yeah. whole thing square root. What do I what do you get? Okay, four square is sixteen. Mm. Uh -huh. That twelve square. Is... Four square is what? Tell me. Uh, one four four. One four four. Correct then. Then, so one four four plus sixteen is what? Um, one six one zero one six zero. Correct. Yeah. So the square root of one six zero is twelve point six five. Correct. Uh huh. Uh huh. So what do you have? So you have half times. 12.65 times h is equals to 22, correct? So, yeah. So, now can you find h? So, 12.65 divided by 2 is 6.32. So, this is 6.32 h is equals to 22. So, h is equals to 22, 22 divided by 6.32, which is 3.48. 3.48 Can? Oh uh, yeah, wait Can. Okay, so you see Okay, whenever you want to find the length Or sorry, the distance and length between two points You have to use the distance formula Okay, the only time you can directly sort of Subtract is if the x values for both the points are the same Or the y values for both the points are the same Then you just directly subtract the difference Okay, if not, you have to use the distance formula. Uh, okay. Can? Okay, sir. Yes, can. Any other questions? Uh, no. Okay. Good. Okay, so... Uh, can, can. Okay, okay, good. So, thank you for joining in today. Um, uh, any... Any other time you want to have a consultation, you just message me lah. Then uh, we can, uh, uh, we can, okay, can create a new session. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.